opportunity on Lissander unless he casted defensively, and he managed to do so. So yeah. No, I was so, asking uh, if I just float near the ceiling or if I'm walking on it. Well, we are not moving, so I'm guessing it would be but when floating. When you do walk, you'll be able to walk super fast. Yeah. Because that spell I... ends in no wait. Well, no, because my haste got through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that spell works one round per level, so... Oh wait, so one, round, not... one mm. round per level, so... <laughs> ten rounds. Mm. Minimum. Possibly eleven or twenty. No, nine rounds. I'm ninth level, nine, nine rounds. I'm no, 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 I'm, te I'm speaking about reverse gravity. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, so you managed to cast that spell, no problem, and everyone was in range. I think that's everything you can do. Yeah, that's um, I. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, again, Kiro. Mm. Right, so are oh. uh, we floating? <laughs> Not really, like you manage. If you manage to do a reflex save, then it's okay. You. It hits. It hits as a burst, and then people affect affected people who aren't aren't. Yeah. It does create a field. Yeah. You manage to save, so you don't be need to be afraid about floating. And... Right. Did a rock save. Yeah, he rolled natural twenty. And he's a flyer, so it doesn't make any difference to him. Right. But just so, little, I mean, my yeah. roles today are just... Sorry for cutting in. Please continue. Alright, so Genkiro is going to take out his fishing net and throw it at the rock. Try to... Uh, uh, snatch it. That's... Uh, okay... Like, this guy is kinda big. Space 10. And... I'm simply wondering if... If, like, by net, you are not, like, is it... I'm wondering if you treat net as a improvised uh, throne weapon? Hang on. I'm not sure. Is he proficient? No, it's, but it's, it's only it's a matter actual... for... If it's only a matter for me, because, like, Genkiro is standing next to him, this guy has reach, and <coughs> he's throwing a net on him. So I'm just simply oh, yeah, wondering so I'm just, sim I'm just simply wondering if he provokes attacks of opportunity or not. Annette is a weapon. Oh, it's it? actually a weapon in Pathfinder. He just might not be proficient in using it. Measures by, by five feet. Yeah, what's the size of this net? It's a five by five feet. Well, that yeah. creature is ten by ten. <laughs> Shit. Right. You'd make it angry. But you still go with that? that dies. I mean, if you still go with that net, the, like, the net lands off his head and there's his, uh, shit, what's the name of the vulture, like, the, there's, not his face, but the... Beak. Beak? Yeah, like, like he shreds the net to pieces. Oh, no, wait, because net is... Uh, whatever, net is, technically, net, fishing net. technically no. net is a weapon, but I won't use the thunder checks for this right now. He just, like, shreds it. Like, it's it. Do you do anything else? Right. Um, that would uh, probably be a standard action. So, I'm going to use a swift action to... Uh... So, yeah. I'm gonna, so, I'm going to jump straight into the action. Of course, I lost some part of the recording because after a while I saw that my something is fucked up. So, uh, Weston, I was reading something about Shadow Walk and... Yeah, basically what happens for you is that there is some, because I'm guessing you are speaking in demon tongue, in Abyssal, yeah? Yep. So yeah, as you talk and talk, there's uh, more and more like intelligence in its eyes and the Vero guys ain't attacking you either. So after a while, uh, he says, uh, the Glabrezu says something like, uh, uh, your offering is accepted. Uh, you will join the voice. You will hear the voice. The uh, voice. Be uh, the voice. And he shows you that he wants you to... That he... 
that he goes first, then Virok, who still didn't manage to heal himself, but that goes after you, and he will want he will try to lead you to the uh, center floor, to the one of the uh, teleportation circles. But I didn't told you much about it. So you, do you, while they are walking, do you want to use this uh, chance to shadow walk? For now, I'm actually going to follow, because now I'm interested in what this voice is. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put map of uh, flying fortress. And... Okay, so you go at the very common uh, room, N not not too many specific rooms, but as there are like stairs, there are also like these elevators, teleportation circles, but one of them that supposedly like escape your notice is something more and something strange, it's more of like, that's out of character information, but it's more of like uh, stargate like there are like several circles around and they can as you see the the glabrezu like uh, comes to them and he uses his not pincers but normal hands he has to start moving them while chan uh, chanting something that nods in the demon tongue which language uh, okay this will be a huge story, but what the fuck he he's rather chanting something that he speaks like Tagen, Holo, Atul of Tagen. Ah, okay. I, I'm pretty sure I don't know that language. Atul of Tagen. Uh, something oh, from know. Dark Tapestry. Yep. I don't know that language. That would be kind but of I cool if I did. Ray. And then, like, like, in between, he, like, he speaks to the, like, uh, you'll join the voice. I can basically that's the most of his uh, saying. Okay, as we okay, so we we'll leave you with that. You can think about what you will uh, do. Now, the rest of you, do you have any uh, plan of action? Right. Um, <clears throat> do we have? Um, is it just us two? You know what, I'm gonna be very nice um, DM and say, if you want our reinforcements, then I'm gonna say that uh, after minute or two, minute or two, there is, uh, like you see a very familiar uh, creature flying around that uh, after a while lands on the enter point and yeah, there is a griffin, if I give him a griffin, I think I give him the griffin. Yeah, yeah. And, and you gave me shocks. I gave you a parrot. Yeah. And with... Uh, Jesus Christ, Otiros. Otiros. Okay. Which, I, I'm not gonna like roleplay with him too much because I don't wanna hijack character, but you can imagine how he acts from, you know, as the player played. Yeah, so, okay, of uh, course, he will uh, ask what's going on and... I have a sort of plan. If... Do you have a plan? A sort of plan. To get there fast. I can cast fly on me and Ginkiro. Uh, Otiros can fly in. We, I, I have to use another haste as we go for in, and we just burst in and start snorting. Uh, Otiros has to immediately take the take the demon. Yeah, with Otiros you have enough firepower. Um, other than that, I don't have any. Oh, I'll, I'll. I'll I'll put. I'll tell you a couple of things that I'll, I'll cast on myself, but there's not an awful lot that I've got mm -hmm. left. That's any good. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, as we are coming to an end, more or okay, less. Okay, so um, and it's not like rule of cool, but knowing, remembering some of the Otiros rolls, I'm pretty sure unless he rolls a one, then he will hit, and when he will hit, he will take more than half of the health of this big guy. Yeah. Because he's a paladin and he, oh, he and he will smite evil. So yeah. there is a high chance that he might heal him in one shot, and if not, in two shots max. 
And if not, I'm going to grease the fuck it. And yeah, and grease Basically, will also help. Me and Genkira can kill the rock as soon as we enter. Yeah. Okay, so that's the plan. And, and if, if, if I have time, I'll do aura of, um, aura of void aura, was it called? But I don't think we will have time. Uh huh. Uh, also, uh, that's information for uh, uh, Vesten, as you were moving, like you were in Calm Chemist Room, so you were moving back through the healer. Uh, the creatures there did not move, but you are pretty sure that there are uh, some kind of undead in healer's room. But they were kind of static and they didn't react on you, but you're pretty certain that if you didn't, if you were not in the company of uh, Daemon, they would attack you. If you want a knowledge religion or dungeoneering to know what nope, kind of... can't do it. Ah, okay, yeah, I, I, I forgot that you don't have knowledge, but... They seem kind of decayed, skeletal, so yeah, they are undead. That much you might know. Yep, okay, I've and... seen plenty of uh, undead yep. at this point. So, as I see it... Uh, the thing is... Uh, yeah, I won't bother with this fucking seal thing, whatever. You found a way out, so you find a way in how... What not? In any ways. So I will s think it will happen like this. Uh, Vesten, uh, you mm -hmm. see that the uh, the Globres is like finishing, like changing the pattern, and you slowly see a first little crack in the air, and then coming bigger and bigger, and you see. Uh, Wait, what's the description of that creature? Oh, come on! What, what is this bullshit? What's the name of the creature? Like, I could just look it up real fast. No, no, no. I. Okay. Okay, you see something like, for a moment, it seems like a slime, but as you f see it full in full glory. You see, this is immense amount of black slime that uh, you see that there are eyes and mouths and even stranger things farming in its heavy bulk. And near it, there might have been a, there might have been a, something of a light source. Of, you get the feeling that there is something like an energy source there, but it's weakened. And the creature itself seems like it's eating. So yeah, even without rolls, your intelligence might because I'm guessing you have like 18 intelligence. Um, my intelligence is actually 15. Uh, wisdom. 13. My charisma is 18. Okay, so that might be slightly harder to understand what that thing is doing. But if you piece the words way back from the tower about parasites, well. This fits the description pretty well. And just before the uh, Glabrezu has a chance to grab you and push you through to like to a voice because there's a you hear as the rift opened there's a small chanting uh, there's a small chanting uh, like in a language that you don't do not understand I think. Give me a sec. What in what? Okay, uh, tell me what languages you have on A. Starting at A. A. I know Aklo, Aquin, oh, Orin. Oh, so you and understand it. So there is like, come, come, hear the voice. I can't hear you. <clears throat> so he's whisper. There's a silent whisper, but okay. So sorry. So there's a silent whisper, but I will tell it normally. Like there's come, come to the voice. B. The voice, be a part of the voice, something like that. Mm. There's some silly fucked up shit. And just before you manage to get thrown into what seems like uh, your oblivion, if not physical, then mental, cavalry comes and there is a glorious charge of Otiros who's shining like a motherfucking supernova with his smite evil and all that paladin stuff, and he pierces through the Glabrezu. There's a loud crash and boom, a scream and whatnot. And yeah, the 
As soon as the cavalry in comes, the rift closes. Can I Can I shoot the rock as he bursts in? Uh, sure, no problem. Um, okay. Uh, what was it? Oh. Oh dear, I rolled a fucking two on my... I was still hit it. As I said, the Vero could not survive as the Otiros will probably in this turn on the next one he will take the uh, Club Rezu out. Anyways, um, I just go, whoa, holy shit. Yeah, you, this might be your imagination, but for a moment you think that before the rift closed, you thought that one of the, it seems like tentacles, tried to reach out through the rift to you, but it didn't manage to do so before rift closed. Uh, rift, uh, something, you know, gate to the... Yeah, something, I understand. Something, you know. Rift is, the, rift is the right word for it. Yep. Okay, so... What do you do, what do you say? We need to get out of this castle and just kind of leave it here. Because there's say... something in this castle that can't really be killed at yeah, all. Yeah, we'll, we'll kill him. I'll say in, I'll shout in Celestial, fuck off, demons. I'm sure they understand Celestial. I'm, uh, uh, like, if somebody wants to make a knowledge checks about if has any idea what that thing might have been, uh, oh, because you what? might have caught a glance, glance of it, of the rift, so... Okay, make... what, 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 what check would you like? Uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure that it's uh, planes. Okay. Planes? Oh, wait, because that thing was a type of ooze, so... You know, planes and dungeoneering will give you uh, different types of information. Okay, this is planes, first one. Rolling the dice. Oh my god, I'm so good with the rolls today, look uh, at it. Yeah. And dungeoneering is... Four. My god, I'm glad that I sort of survived so far, because this is awful, isn't it? <laughs> Hey, well, good thing you make this roll some knowledge checks, not attack. Uh, or the, uh, no, I, I missed. Hero? I, I, I yeah. continually yeah, Do, do you want to make uh, knowledge checks? Knowledge uh, planes? Planes and or dungeon earring. I just gotta check. They will want. tell you different kinds of emotion because after all this particular creature, I'm gonna say it's strong. It's, a dungeoneering check. It has high CR, but it's an ooze, so dungeoneering should work. Uh, yeah. Anything? With that rolls, because that was th that thing was fucking huge. Yeah, he was huge. Uh, you're not sure and you didn't read too much about it, so you don't know too much about his abilities and whatnot. But you heard the name somewhere, sometime in the past. Shogot. Shogot. Is he? One of the parasites of the Flying Fortress. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad. <sighs> Oh dear me, we, oh that's right, because we are aware that it's essentially a UFO, isn't it? So of course we've got alien monsters as, as well. Well, Western should remember it, and yeah, in character he remembers that the talk with the voices, the legend of the castle, that they were telling about parasites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, fantastic. We've got alien, demon, and undead infested house, which is, it, I don't know. It might be even more different things. <laughs> right, so spring Works. cleaning. Get the spring cleaning. Get the shit out of my our castle. <laughs> I'm going to go to the library it's and try really to find as many books as possible in that language that I didn't know. Yeah, speaking about this language, because I was. Uh, Surprised when I saw that, yeah, the Shogot has Aklo as a language. <laughs> hey, I know Aklo. 
Yeah, me too. And I was fairly certain that, uh, you know, I will check it between like sessions or maybe on another one that, uh, like, if the great old ones, if what languages they have. Because I was almost certain that the they have like some special one, but it seems like not. I was mistaken. Well, Aklu is like um, dark fey and whatnot. Okay. Also, if you want to, because obviously you don't have knowledge for that, but you saw these creatures in the healer's room that I told you about, so you might tell the rest and they could, from your information, oh, get yeah. knowledge. Oh, guys, um, watch out for that undead over there, as I point to the horde of undead that's probably shambling towards us now. Uh, nope. No? Okay. Nope. As oh. I, I was saying, like, what you saw dead? them, so uh, you can describe Oh, no. Um... There's some dead over there. Like in That's the healer, pretty much all I know about in the, it. In the healer's room. Hmm? Uh, no, but you saw something of them. Give me a sec. Uh, you saw something like uh, there's a thick tangle of discolored entrails clings to the skeleton's torso. Oh. You didn't say that part. Yes, yeah, sorry. But you, so you saw something like that. And there is like a... Uh, winds upwards to loll from its jaw like a clothed tongue. Well, yeah. So we can make, as you say that to them, so you can make a knowledge. Yeah. Because he's undead, so that's religion, I think. Yep. So who can then make a knowledge religion check? Yeah, okay. uh, I can. I know all of the knowledge. Okay. So 30 is more than enough. Uh, just to be completely sure, I'm gonna see if Genkiro is... Blah. <laughs> okay, so Genkiro... Well, skeleton. Undead. Well, Enough. I... Lysander. I have no idea what's keeping it apart since it doesn't have any muscles, but... Yeah, for you, uh, Lysander, you're pretty sure that the, this type of undead is called Mokr. Really? Mokrg. Yeah. And basically... <laughs> That's uh, medium and dead. Uh, he senses so that he has typical dark vision. Of course, he has typical undead traits, so he's immune, you know, to typical undead things. Uh, the thing is that uh, his slam attacks may gr try to grab you, and his tongue is slightly dangerous because if he and because tongue attack is a melee touch attack, and it can give you paralysis. Really? Okay. Well, I'm not gonna let him touch me, I, I yell out it's a morgue and immediately start shooting if possible. No, they are not coming at you, they were left at the healer's room. Now, right now you are on the oh, common, see, sorry, common sorry. ground. Sorry, I got confused because obviously... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, they don't have damage reduction and... Yeah, yeah, that paralysis, if you fail DC, it's pretty nasty. It's in minutes, 1d4 minutes. Oh, shit. So yeah, if you get hit and well, fail that wrong. So you're essentially out of the fight, you're dead. Well, you're not dead, but you're out of the fight. Cause and you... as far as Vesten could tell, there are only three of those in the healer's room, and they are still there. They didn't move. Right, the... well. Yeah, and the mocks are that kind of thing that each one of those will get one-shotted by Otiros. Um, okay, well, I'm willing to stand at a distance and start capping him while Oteros just marches in and kicks the quick crap out of the other. And the I will be hiding. And Oteros has like what plus seventeen to fortitude. No, well, it's, I think I think that he, he's immune to diseases as well. Mm -hmm. uh, paralysis is a disease. Yeah. Okay, so they, I don't so, think they can really do much. So to they don't have nothing on him, so they won't do shit. Yeah. Paladins are super brilliant against certain things, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I genuinely don't think they can do anything meaningful. Yeah, they them. won't do anything. If they don't roll a twenty, they can possibly scratch him. Yeah, so. they won't do anything. I'm like they. They are not that against him. They are not a threat. Like a little bit scratch, but even then paralysis doesn't work and he has lay on hands, so yeah. So now the question is, I'm gonna say that there are still some creatures. 
So hang on, did you randomly roll Morgus in one room and then fucking heavy? I mean, I ro I rolled for the whole floor and <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. I randomly rolled for Mog, for Glabrezu, and for the Virox. <laughs> that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, one of the one hundred rolls was was ninety something. So yeah, kind of tough. Yeah, no, that is tough. That's really good. But. Well, as I said, I'm still learning how to optimize. Uh, no, 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 it's really encounters. funny. It's really good. And the other it's... thing is, well, you have a flying fucking castle. If you reclaim it all and you get full power of it, then you are. Well, let, let, it's just a trivia information. Well, I the end to play. Lessons of the opinion that he's gone this far, he's better go for it. Although, um, being more of a. Elven superhero is appealing because he felt very, very weak against things like the Lich and the demons. Uh -huh. and, and so he's going to try to research some ways. Uh -huh. And as I said, like this is like a trivia out of character of top information from DM to players that I kind of thought of the uh, this flying castle as a means of like subplot of taking it over. That you, it's it's possible. It is completely possible to reclaim it even before level 15, I think. Especially since you are guest out. So, even against Shogot, who is uh, challenge rating 19, then. Well, we know who Shogot's boss is as well, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Also, if somebody wants to like uh, take a closer inspection on that uh, circle that uh, Glabrezu was working on. Oh yes, there is a teleport. In knowledge system. Arcana. Knowledge check. Arcana, definitely. Knowledge yeah. Arcana. Arcana check. I just figured we should probably at least get and the heat working before we go any further just, north. Just because I never get, normally get to cast it, I'm going to cast Guidance for a plus one to my roll. <laughs> Alright, I think I know what's what the problem is. We need to call out our attacks uh, as we do them, <laughs> or else we get uh, only once, once in low numbers. Uh, Wait, so when I was power attacking, that's why I hit all the time, because I was saying I'm power attacking. Yeah, you have to say power attack, power attack. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, with that kind of roles, you uh, know, especially Lysander, because you kind of realized in previous weeks that there is something going on with uh, dimensions in this place, and there are, like, sometimes rooms are bigger, sometimes they are not. So you kind of think, because this is basically the first time you see a practical example of this, that this might be uh, the gateway, like, a, yeah, gate rift, to the extra dimensional spaces that are inside the castle. Oh, really? Ah, okay. So, um, where, ah, okay, that will be hard to put on the map. And also, I'm not sure we want to explore it quite at the moment. So, <sighs> so the castle is its own universe, got it. Oh, well, also... Yes, some kind of things. Because, you know, that's kind of out of character, but, you know, the most important things that like, you know, the, as they were saying about heart, mind and something, then, yeah. After all, there's a place that you probably do not see on the... Can you see my arrow on the map, by I the way? I can see. Yeah, well, um, on there, can we know that it's a thing that has got buzzing bees or something into it? Mm, you do not hear buzzing from the... Cold. I thought it was. I thought it was there. Ah, yeah, from from fields. Yeah, buzzing is there, and buzzing. also because there's a really large area. I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, so you will be very stealthy after all that happened. Yeah. Uh, so gonna, give me yeah, a sec. I'm gonna. I'm pretty much past everything. So. Show you what that thing is. And basically, that thing is that you can have your like. There are farms and fields. That if there are some animals like to get meat, then there is a place to have them. And because we are very stealthy, you can see that in some distance, because this place is rather rather large. And it has some like a faint, uh, like a faint, 
uh, illusion going on. Like if you look at the ceiling, it's not like a typical ceiling of the fort, but it seems like a sky and the sun, mm -hmm. something like that. And <clears throat> yeah, in the very distance, you can see uh, swarms flying around high in the air. And then in the distance, there's like because you saw them previously, there are four Vrocks dancing around, like oh, dancing God. and chanting. They do not see you, no problem. And even further in the distance, there is uh, uh, standing very still with closed huh? eyes. Uh, another towering. Oh wait, no, I... no, no. There's no, there's no second club res because originally I rolled two, but. Seeing how that thing is, then there was only the one you killed the one, so there are only two swarms and four V rock demons. And speaking of the swarms, you might give me, uh, yeah, knowledge planes because there are very specific swarms. They are CR8 27, yeah. Yeah, they heard, they were, like, as you listen to them, sure, they sound like VASP, but they are somewhat special kind of VASP. This oh, type uh, is called Hell VASP Swarm. Oh, Christ, of course, yeah. Which is uh, diminutive vermin, extra planar, uh, sadly, they, they, have, they have damage resistance against like the it can be overcome but good weapons they are immune to swarm uh, to weapon damage and of course they have other swarm traits and they are resist to fire fire 10 thankfully it seems like it there is only one swarm and yeah i'm going to say that even if you do fight normally even if then it might take too long, I don't know. No, I, I don't want to fight them yet until we rest up, because I, I can't... Uh, well, I'll use this here. I have a, a trick to take the rocks, but it will need preparation, and I don't have enough spells and things like that. How large is the area, per se? Like, could we fight them without jawing the others? It will be tricky because even if you manage to like sway, like bait uh, the swarms or the virax, the sounds of battle and their screaming, because they are vultures after all, they might be loud enough to stir up the. Uh, no, not stir up, I forgot. No, there's no glabrezu there. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a chance. Wait, if swarms are, if you if you find a way, like plausible explanation, how and why this bait might work for a swarm, for example, then I'm all ears. I was actually at first I was considered just like sitting around waiting to see if there's a day-night cycle in here. Uh, it doesn't seem so. Well, I wouldn't know unless I was there for a day. Probably. <laughs> or maybe that so. is, but there are the, the illusion is not strong enough. Like the cloud tower does not have enough power. I mean, I was asking the question because uh, I was just wondering if you do you wanna continue or just stop it right here. Well, no. I mean, I I go to I I Lysander needs to rest and stuff. I've got an idea, but it's not fully formed. And besides, I I think we probably want the paladin if we're fighting any more demons. Yeah, it would be nice so that Otiros won't miss on all the fighting. I mean, Julius won't miss on all the fighting, so... If you don't have any... Uh, like, again, something against that, I will, like, say that this session ends, like, in, at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. think it was cool. And normally I would say to love to play next week, but, as I say, I will try to get this thing sorted out, the PC might go to a uh, support or something, but there is a high chance that I won't be able to play uh, next Friday. Oh well, just keep us posted, man. Keep us. Yeah, if something up. changes, I will definitely inform you. But for now, that's. Yeah, once again, thank you very much for playing. Thank I hope you, you enjoyed.